How are you on the biggest nerd? Welcome to Industries of Titan. This is an early access Epic Game Store dealio. Uh, in 12 months it will be released on at least Steam as far as I know. It is a... Um, let me just... Let me just select standard here. It is a... Uh, city building, capitalistic, factory, space simulator. Of sorts. Uh, not enabled tutorials. I played an, about an hour or so of this, uh, and it's really intriguing. And the aesthetics is beautiful. The music is fantastic. The voiceover is actually, actually pretty good for for a game that honestly doesn't really need it. You know. You know, I've been watching Fargo on season 3 now, they say, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's got a real Blade Runner, neon futuristic style, and I really, I really enjoy it. As I said, I played about an hour. An hour is not a lot, I finished the tutorial, and that was about it. As you can hear, the music, hang on, let me lower it a little bit here, pardon. Did it break? It didn't break. Ah, Founder. The Council is glad to see you. We have significant investments riding on your success. I hope you'll live up to our expectations. Right? It's good. Music by Danny Baranovsky. It's really good. Starting in the exact same place as started the previous, previous uh, time I played it. Uh, so. Let me, instead of going through an hour-long tutorial, let me, the big huge nerd, tell you how to play this game, because I'm an expert, I'm the best player in the world right now. Haven't checked that anyone else, so, you know. Uh, this is the over, over world, overworld view. Uh, you claim that the, the blue area here is my territory. Uh, you claim ruins, and then you can salvage or get artifacts. Salvage them for, for resources that you use to build more. Uh, buildings here in the overworld or one thing that I found really really cool that you don't see in a lot of other city building games I think you can enter your buildings and here you go you can you can actually build like storage containers this is where you build the production or well the, the most of it at least so uh, let me just start by you know surveying you get these guys, you can actually, in here, you can see them, if they are here. See them, click on them, get some names. There's there's a bunch of stuff that isn't in the game yet. As I said, it is early access. Let me see if I can find the mail I received. The, the, the code is provided by the, the very kind people over at Brace Yourself Games, the developers of this game. And games like Cadence of Hyrule and stuff like that. Really, really cool. Where are you? Is that long ago? There you go. Yes. It is indeed an early access launch. In 12 months, they, they plan on releasing the full 0 0.0. 0 0.0? 1.0 launch. So for now, uh, transportation systems, ship-to-ship -ship combat systems, popular simulation, and much more will be added to the game via updates. Yes. We surveyed this. It has 10 minerals and 3 wastes. So, we need... Minerals. I have a bit of a head start. Four red artifacts. You know, let's get that. And you can claim with influence points, which I don't quite know where where I saved. Where this is influence, yeah. Which you get because everything the the tit Titan, which is where we are, is. Um, is governed by a council because this is this is uh, you know it's it's satirizing capitalist countries I would say but that's just me all right let's get some more you see, see here less Henry Jake I think these are the same guys as uh, last time 
I'm building the tiny ones rather than large ones because space efficiency is a big thing. So for now I just want to start with... Uh, start with uh, building the, necess the basic necessities. Necessities. This building right here is the council hall. We need them to get trade tickets. You can uh, trade with the council using influence over here. We can unlock this and then we can get uh, actual citizens. These are employees and the game doesn't really tell you this, you know, not straight out, but you, these were once humans. They are now kind of robots. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty, uh, as I said, it's satire. The way you earn money, money is through monetization stations where idle citizens will watch ads to generate credits. Yeah. This is the conversion capsule. You train citizens into forever obedient low wage employees. You literally rip out their guts and put in gears. It's uh, it's the way some countries would like the world to be. I am a European though. So you know, mostly I am uh, quite left leaning. This, you know, I kind of want waste to be somewhere else. So let's just build a factory. Let's build it here. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna claim this mineral patch and put one, or maybe this one. Do we have isotopes? No, this is maybe the closest. Don't have enough influence. It ticks slowly. Let's do that and assign an employee to this. So we can get a steady stream of minerals. This didn't really work out super well when I played it last. So it might be that... Uh, I think he's, he's, he's over here now. We have this one. This employee management. We can... Uh, change their priorities. When I did this last time, it messed up the recording. It was actually pretty pretty crazy. I used the screen uh, game capture mode on OBS and um, when I clicked this one, all the, the, the game that OBS figured I was capturing was this square. This rectangle right here. Right here. The construction rectangle was an entire game. And it left me with uh, sadness in my brain. We're filling up the storage uh, containers here pretty quickly. This one has a, a capacity of 10, whilst the large one has 54. It takes up 9, nine uh, squares, whilst, you know, 9 squares of these give you 90 storage capacity. Do one of these. Uh, let's also get a energy generator. No, let's build it there. Get it in the middle right there. An industrial outlet is necessary to send power out of the building which uh, generates the power. We also actually need a fuel fabricator. So let's just get that one. like so. I think that's good for now. You're listening to this music? It's fantastic. So this is, as I said, an early access game. I'm I'm not going to play this game for 100 episodes, I think. Haven't quite decided yet. But the thinking is, no. Not uh, at the moment. Not sure how limited the series will be, depending on how how expansive the game actually is. We did build the factory, right? And then the factory looks the same as the headquarters inside. A, f uh, a thing I found quite, quite cool though is that if you build another factory or any two buildings of the same uh, 
same sort, two mines, I guess, didn't, didn't get all the way there, <laughs> you can connect them, making it long and cool. So I want, want to use this for basic necessities. We're making fuel, we're making energy. So we, we are self-sufficient in here right now. Let's then... We don't really need a large energy relay because we're not really relaying a lot of energy. Let's do this and then an industrial outlet like so. And uh, I think we are oh, I think we are good here for now. Hang on, let's build get two batteries and then we are good on energy I think we can actually survey before we claim I we, we should do that honestly so we know which one we should be focusing on artifacts are used for converting citizens into employees traded for influence or unlocking the spaceport let's actually just do that so we have it we require influence to get more people, to get more... These are regular citizens, and to get citizens we need habitat pods, or habitation pods. Habitats for humanity. Habitat pods indeed. And I think a thing I didn't do well last time was actually managing my people well enough. That's just a bunch of waste. This is best for artifacts. It's a lot of minerals. Lots of minerals. We want that. We don't really need the artifacts right now. 16 people. Uh, what do you want this for? Did I say? We can use this for habitation, I think. We can't actually build here because the headquarters uh, command or energy grid command area I think isn't all the way over there for that I think we need the energy pylons or an upgraded headquarters dun, 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 dun. and to actually power this building we need energy pylons right right here let's actually build that one first while we're at it you can also burrow which I didn't get to but it sounds really cool for 100 credits that that increases per building we have you can burrow your city hiding it underground and that just sounds real cool we kind of want this but we need more influence Okay, let's get this one up. Let's just uh, boost forward here a little bit. Uh, artifacts. There we go. Minerals. kind of just want to destroy this. I don't want to make waste. This is pretty close. That provided some... Uh... No, we don't actually need another factory at the present time so industrial outlets transfer energy from inside buildings to energy pylons and vice versa so this can just be built anywhere i think hang on not not there cancel it just build in the middle thank you and habitation pods they w were acting a little bit wonky Last time. But let's do that. What if we build a battery? This should power... This should power everything, correct? Correct. I, I think I think this, uh, this interior view is really cool. No energy, this doesn't send energy out 
It does store 2,000 energy though. Let's just see how it how it works out. We're literally giving the the Titan, the Moon settlers, tiny pods to live in. And if we need cheap labor, we're just gonna make them into cyborgs. Now this should be filled up after a while, I think. Everything has power. Fantastic. Uh, we wanted artifacts over here, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, let's... We have opened this up. Don't really need that much... There we go. Just four people. No waste, no nothing. Here they come. No landing. And here they are. Not sure if they're gonna go to the uh, headquarters first or just straight to the habitation pots. I guess we'll find out. They seem to walk on straight lines through the corners. They don't actually go in the middle of anything. Which is fine when you just work. However, I didn't really like that when there are minerals or stuff in the middle of plots. They just go like this and pick something up. And if there's stuff on two adjacent plots, you don't actually know what is being picked up. Let's do that. This requires isotopes. You know, we need a uh, smokestack. Just to get rid of some of the garbage. This is as far away as we can get it at the moment. So let's build it there. Survey is completed. Three red artifacts or 12 minerals. Let's get it. We're getting a means of removing waste now. We have a lot of waste. <laughs> so we should absolutely work on getting that removed. And the humans, the migrants that are coming in, they bring a lot of trash. A lot of trash. Let's have them work and live in the same, same box. Don't have power? No, of course you don't. We have minerals over there for this energy pylon. A thing that I probably got a little bit spoiled with when playing RimWorld and uh, those kinds of games. There is available resources. You can use them for, for, for building. <laughs> right? But now they have to go over here, pick up the minerals, load them in here, and then we can use them. Which is... Just, you know... It's uh, slow. It's a bit slow. Let's build it there. I, I, I can't, I'm thinking while I'm also, you know, uh, building stuff in RimWorld, I want to make it a bit expansive. I don't want everything just bunched up. But I think the, the, the point about, the point with Industries of Titan is that everything emanates out from the headquarters. So it is a, a giant megalopolis. That That's the point, I think. Should have power over here now. Also an employee. Poor favor. It's a bunch of minerals. Yeah, it's a bunch of nothing. Isotopes, though. Didn't we require isotopes for something? That's for upgrading, correct. Currently zero credits. You don't have power. That's my bad. This better? No. Lock this. Conversion capsule. 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 Do we want it? Do we need it? Can we live without it? Unsure. Let's get some monetization stations up first, though. 
these guys work when there are available citizens. Don't have to set it as a job. Getting one a second, I think that is. Which is, honestly, quite a lot. Rich, and this is ultra-rich. There's only two patches. But, honestly, let's get that. Let's set an employee. I always feel like we actually need to make a path of territory. But I don't actually think we need that. I think this one is going to go down here and work. Yeah. We can save, save our influence. They are working. There we go. There we see the credits rolling in. What are you watching? Are you watching the same ad? This is literally click farming, by the way. What are you watching? I think I think they're literally being brainwashed. All right. So you are storing a decent chunk of energy. Honestly, actually. I feel like we are maybe we can actually need some more we can actually need some more fuel tanks. Yeah, we can actually need some more fuel tanks. 2000. So this is this is better. Cuz that's 500 the piece. This is literally the same, it just looks a little bit cooler. Yeah, so let's get that. Let's get it. No one's working here? Now perhaps? Yeah, just a, just a tiny bug. I think I set the employees to one before it was finished and maybe then it uh, didn't want to do the thing I told it to do. So one of these had ice topes. You did. There we go. Gonna save up some cash so we can unlock the council communications building over here. Uh, let's get these two people. And then... We're gonna upgrade this. Not sure what we want to build in the second... Uh, the second store, because it, it, it gets taller. Which is also something I honestly just really thoroughly enjoyed. It got taller, and it got a second floor. And for some reason, that just fits in my brain with how mega capitalist should work. No, let's survey this one. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. What do you have? Let's claim it and salvage it. Claim it and salvage it. Dude, claim it and salvage it. And now, welcome to headquarters number two, or the the the, the, the version version two. Combat floor is uh, disabled for early access, so we gotta wait. Hopefully, maximum a um, 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 year. A um, year. More storage, perhaps. More storage. Let's just, let's just get it, you know? Let's just get it. Let's just get it. Refiner, centrifuge, and purifier. Coming soon. Uh, and before I forget it... No, we wanna, we wanna save. Unlock this. A little bit unsure, however... What we actually wanna use this for. It's a, oh, that's a, uh, the bug feedback form. Don't need that cur currently. I just kind of want to destroy. Claim it and get some artifacts. Should we just get some conversion capsules? Let's just let's just do that. Yeah, 
this. So our, our waste has gone down quite a bit, but it still isn't at zero. This, by the way, uh, produces pollution. We're, we're at good at the moment. Yeah, not too polluted. Blue is good. Green is okay, yellow is poor, and red is dangerous. So my thinking is... This one was necessary, apparently. So we're gonna get a defensive turret. But we need isotopes for that. And minerals. Which I think we should be getting quite shortly. Oh, we have we can convert some uh, some migrants, which just sounds awful <laughs> in today's climate. We're getting more workers. How graphic is this, by the way? Oh, you missed, didn't you, brother? Hang on, hang on. Let me. Can I take a screenshot here now? All right, let's let's uh, give some feedback. Uh, citizen missed the conversion uh, capsule. Frowny face. Attached screenshot. I'm guessing it's attached. Send it. Hello. We are. Hey, hey, look at us. Look at us. We're doing our part. Let's hope it works, even if I play the game. Oh, you vomited the rest of your guts. Possibly, probably. Okie dokie. Uh, let's get some more. You know what? Long episode. We're gonna play for, for a while longer. So let's uh, end it here. And uh, hopefully you'll be back tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'm the Biggest Nerd. This is Infinite Streets of Titan. Intriguing game. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Looking forward to to following its uh, development. You may wishlist it on... Did I say that correctly? Wishlist it on the Epic Game Store. Now, if you so please. If not, you can just follow them on, on Twitter or whatever. Or don't, you know. <laughs> it's a free world most of the time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the biggest nerd. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. <laughs>